Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for similar content coming soon. Today's video is part of my current series on therapies for type 2 diabetes and this particular video focuses on thiazolidine diones or TZDs. I'm going to begin with a brief introduction about the disease itself. Islets of Langerhans are small patches of endocrine tissue in the human pancreas. They contain alpha cells, beta cells and delta cells among others. When our gastrointestinal tracts are empty, usually periods of above three hours after meals, alpha cells secrete glucagon. Glucagon acts in a wide range of tissues in the body, all with the aim of ensuring blood glucose concentrations don't get too low. These effects include inhibiting glucose uptake by bodily tissues, as well as the breakdown of storage molecules to generate glucose. However, when glucose is being absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract, usually shortly after a meal, beta cells are stimulated to secrete insulin. As well as inhibiting the secretion of glucagon, and therefore inhibiting all of its effects, insulin acts in a large variety of tissues, all working to reduce the glucose concentration. These effects include increasing glucose uptake, as well as increasing the production of storage molecules. As you can see, these two hormones have opposing effects and together produce blood glucose homeostasis. However, in type 2 diabetes, the insulin arm of this process is diminished. This can be caused by dysfunctional beta cells resulting in reduced insulin secretion or reduced insulin sensitivity in peripheral tissues, or indeed both. The incidence of type 2 diabetes is rapidly increasing in all four countries of the UK, with 10% of the NHS budget going towards tackling the condition. A more detailed description of type 2 diabetes can be found in my introduction video, which I'll provide the link for below. One family of drug that is used to treat this condition are the TZDs, which act to increase the action of insulin. TZDs bind to peroxisome proliferator activated receptor deltas in adipose tissue cells nuclei. Simultaneously, retinoic acid binds to the retinoic acid receptor also in adipose cell nuclei. These two ligand receptor complexes dimerize and activate the transcription of acyl-CoA synthase and lipoprotein lipase, glucose transporter 4 and fatty acid transporters, which increase lipogenesis, glucose uptake and fatty acid uptake respectively, all reducing blood glucose concentrations. The only available TZD in the UK is pioglitazone. TZDs have been associated with liver damage and more expectantly weight gain, as most diabetes therapies do. However, Pioglitazone, the only available TZD in the UK, has actually been withdrawn in France and Germany due to a proposed increased risk of bladder cancer. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.